Okay, so what you are needing to let go of here in this situation, the thing that's affecting your finances is that you, you appear to be happy. So we've got the Ten of Cups here. All right, this is the happy family, happy home life. You have everything that you need, everything that you possibly want. Um, at least from people looking outside, they would see this. This is the two and a half kids, um, the picket fence, the whatever it is. And you would see this and you would think that this is all that you want. You've got the, the partner that you want. You know, it could be the marriage that you want, all of that. But this is blocking you. Um, because I feel as if you actually, what I'm picking up, actually, what I'm picking up is that I, what I see is that you actually, you want to have this, like you, I feel like you have this, people might be looking at you on the outside of, as having this, but you're not seeing it this way. So you want more, you want to have this ideal, this idealized version of what it means to be happy. And so this is the story that you're telling yourself is that you're looking back to see, you know, how much money have I stored up? How much wealth do I have? Do I have enough to sustain this? Do I have enough for, you know, you know, how much money have I stored up basically to support this idea of being extremely happy, feeling as if you have all of your cups filled and everything is just lined up perfectly. Now, realistically, this rarely can happens together. It can, but for many people, it, you don't have both at the same time. What happens is that people take stock of what they have and they're, they usually are grateful for what they have and they may do and they find their happiness, not just in meeting this checklist of things that you're supposed to have in order to feel abundant, but they just feel abundant with what they already have because they're grateful for what they have. And so with this card being something that you can let go of, a story that you're telling yourself that could be hindering you, it's constantly looking, checking your bank account, checking your savings, checking your, you know, whatever it is, and judging your sense of accomplishments off of that. Now, what you can develop here to kind of help you feel um, more balanced in this regard is to allow things to grow, allow things to develop over time and to be appreciative basically of like what you have, okay? Um, and not like just wait for it to be at this like abundant, whatever level that people say that you need, however much money you need to have in order to be in this energy, and then just allow yourself to be in this energy. All right. And with the outcome here with the tower, I feel like this would be a dramatic shift in your energy. It would completely shift your paradigm about what it means to be happy. And you might find that you have way more than what you ever allowed yourself to realize that you already have. Um, I feel as if there could be some decisions and things that you're doing as well in order to sustain this kind of experience, all right, that you would change if you allowed yourself to feel okay with what you have. You would make a change maybe in the type of, you know, hours that you're spent, you, you are doing, or maybe what you're spending your funds on. It could even be the people that are around you. Okay. What kind of support groups do you have? Do you have friends and community that are all about, um, what is it like get the bad culture where you, you're always having to hustle, 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 get, get, get more work, two jobs, have three side jobs you know, all these different things to try to maintain the image of being in this. I am also picking up, it could be this sense of needing to prove that you're worthy to be in this energy because you already are here. And, you know, there could be people around you who um, maybe they had to work very, very hard. Maybe they had to get lots and lots and lots of jobs and lots of different streams of income to get that. And they're still not happy. And so you might be judging yourself and saying, hey, 
Um, why, why should I be happy with just this? You know, the sky's the limit. I should get more and more and more. But I'm picking up that, you know, it might be a good time to kind of stop taking actions because they're not leading you in a direction that's going to be sustainable or lead to a sense of feeling abundant because you can spin your wheels and spin your wheels and never fully get to where it is that you're trying to get to. Okay, let's get an Oracle card. All right, yeah, clean energy food. So this is also speaking to um, increasing your energy levels, your vibration, and how raising your vibration changes your um, levels of opportunities that you have available. It also changes the types of relationships that you attract in. So it says, when you fuel your body with a healthful organic diet, you increase your energy levels and ability to focus. This automatically leads to more efficiency, better ideas, and a higher vibration, which attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationships. So if you can, um, you know, takes, you can also actually take stock of your actual diet, but I feel like this is speaking towards like your community or people that are supporting you or people that are cheering you on to be in this, you know, dream life energy that you might already be in, you know? So 